Hi everyone, I completely forgot to record an intro to this video, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys a picture of the look. I'm going to take you along while I'm getting ready to belly dance today. So I usually start out by prepping my eyelids. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, and I'm just going to put that in on from the lash line all the way to the brow bone using my finger and also going into the inner corner as well as putting it on underneath my lower lashes as well. I'm going to go back in with the brush and smooth it all out to prevent creasing and then I'm going to use the brush to put the primer underneath my eyes, uh, apparently by flip while flipping people off while I'm doing it. Afterwards I'm going to go ahead and prep my lips with my lip exfoliator from e.l.f. Uh, and then once I'm done with that I do actually just wipe it off with a damp washcloth because it does kind of leave you with some grains on your lips. And then I'm going to go in with a Bite Agave Lip Mask and just put that all over my lips. It's a really thick balm and I'm just going to let that soak in while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Monarch Palette today and I'm going to start out with the Entomology shade using just a flat shader brush. I'm going to put that all over my lower lid all the way up kind of past the crease and it's just a really, it's a matte pale pink with kind of some micro sparkles and a silver or uh, iridescent color in it. And once I'm done, I'm going in with my Dallium Tools pencil brush, the 780, uh, into the Deadhead shade uh, in the palette. And it's just kind of a matte terracotta color. I'm going to be putting this in my crease and just doing an outer V with it as well. I'm just using the pencil brush to actually place the color first before I go back in and blend it with a clean brush. And I am actually taking the shade up past the crease a little bit. And we'll be blending this out in just a moment anyway if it's starting to look a little scary right now. <laughs> and I'm blending with my Dallium Tools 781, just a kind of a fluffy blending brush uh, with also using that same pink shade that I did, the Entomology shade. And I'll just be blending that, the edges out in just circular motions. Then I'm going to go back in with my pencil brush from Dallium Tools, the 780, and I'm just going to darken up the outer V a little bit with a matte brown sh shade in the palette uh, called Papil. Or Papilio, I don't know. Anyway, so once again, I'm just placing the color in the outer V just a little bit and getting it as dark as I want it. And then I'm going to go back in with that same uh, Dallium Tools 781 and just blend it out once I'm done. So now I'm using my Sigma E25 blending brush. And I'm going to be using the gold shade uh, in here called Disintegration. And I'm just using this very lightly and I'm just blending it out at the top of that terracotta shade, the, uh, the Deadhead shade, just to kind of give it a little bit of shine and sparkle. But I'm not going up all the way to the brow. And I'm going to go back again, once again, to that Entomology shade after cleaning off my E25 and just blending out the gold shade with that. 
and this time I will actually go all the way up to the brow with that shade. I'll be using a L'Oreal Infallible and Endless Pearl, and I'm just using a, a Sonia Kashuk um, smudger brush with this, and I'm placing it right underneath the arch of my brow very carefully. I don't want to use a lot of this because it is a shimmery shade, but I just want to accent the arch of the brow using this. So I'm going to place the color with this. And once again, I'll be going back with the E25 after cleaning it off and just blending that color out. I'm going to go ahead and just curl my eyelashes real quick before starting on my eyeliner. And I'll also add a shade with that same smudger brush, the Telepathy shade, which is kind of a a greenish taupe shimmery shade to my inner corner. I'll be using my MAC 210 along with my Black Track Gel Liner. And I'll just be creating a, a winged liner. I usually start from the outside of the eye and create the wing first. And this can take some time, so I'm not actually going to uh, film the whole thing, otherwise we'll be here for an hour. I decide how long I want the wing to be and then I'll go back in and kind of fill it in and uh, decide how, I, how dramatic I want it to be. And remember when you're doing winged eyeliner to not never stretch your eye out. If you need to hold your eye, just place your finger to hold at the skin, but don't ever stretch it out because otherwise it kind of messes up the shape of your winged liner. All done. So from here, I am actually going to put glitter on over the black liner, and this is this gorgeous uh, eye candy shade that is mixed uh, by a woman that likes to go through and make kind of custom shades. So I'll put that link below, and I'll be using my lit glitter glue with the brush that it came with, and just dipping it in the glue first, and then a little bit in the glitter, and just patting it onto that winged eyeliner. All done. With the eyeliner. So now I'm actually going to mix this NYX uh, Endless Ultra Pearl Mania with the Inglot Duraline. And I'm just going to make an eyeliner out of it. I'm still using my 210 brush after I've cleaned it off. And I'm going to make a gold line on top of the black winged liner. Sorry for completely blocking my eyeball here, but I'm left-handed, so it's kind of difficult to, to do the right eye. I'll be using a lit glitter on top of that gold eyeliner in Champagne Wishes. Same lit glue and same brush cleaned off. 
And I'll be using the same technique on the gold. I'm just patting the glitter on to the gold liner. From here, I'm going to go ahead and tightline my eyes using the MAC Black Track with my e.l.f. Uh, flat eyeliner brush. And I just find this method to be much easier than trying to use just a fine eyeliner brush. It's just much faster. You kind of stamp it into your eyelashes, and blink into the brush, and then you're done. I'll be using some Eyelure 116 False Lashes today. I just got these at Ulta, and they're just pretty natural lashes. I use flat tweezers to put them on and I'll also be using the Revlon Precision Dark Adhesive. And I usually start out by placing the middle down on top of my lashes and then I'll do the inner corner and the outer corner. After waiting about 30 seconds for the glue to get tacky after I put it on the lash. Then I'm going to go ahead and use an angled liner brush, and this is a MAC 263. I'm just continuing that winged eyeliner down underneath my eyelashes about one third of the way in. And I'll set that with the black shade in, uh, in the palette called Wrath, and this is just a matte black. And then I'll be using that same uh, terracotta shade with it called Deadhead with that smudger brush and just bringing it in uh, all the way into the inner corner. Sorry, I'm talking to my daughter here. So I'm gonna meet the black with the inner corner highlight. And then I'll be lining my waterline with my favorite, of course, my Stila Kajal eyeliner in Topaz. It's just a nice peachy eyeliner and kind of wakes up those eyes, especially if you have allergies like me and your eyes are always red and itchy. And then I'll be putting mascara on my lower lashes. This is just the Butterfly Mascara in Waterproof in Black. And now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz and just do my brows. I'm actually just using the pencil on the tail of the brow and just to kind of line the front of it as well. And then I'll be using a lighter shade in the powder, uh, also by Anastasia, in the front of the brow. I find this looks a little bit more natural for me. If I use the pencil on the whole thing, it just tends to look too dark. And I'm just gonna blend it in with a spoolie. And then I do actually put on some brow mousse on this on top of that. Now I'm gonna move on to the face, and this is my IT Cosmetics Feel the Moment Primer Serum. I'm just gonna rub that in all over my face before I start applying the makeup. And then I'll be using my Makeup Forever HD foundation in number 127 uh, with my Sigma brush. This is the Flat Kabuki F80. And just blending that in all over my face. And this is a little dark for me, so I just have to make sure that I blend it really well. And once I'm done, I'm gonna actually use my Makeup Forever concealer in number seven. And I put that on and then I spread the concealer out with a concealer brush from Bare Essentials. And then using the same foundation brush to kind of blend it and make sure it looks good. And I'll be using my Age Your Wine from Maybelline and blending that in with my Real Techniques sponge. And I'll be using Blunt from MAC 
with a Sigma F05 to do my contouring today. And you really have to use a light hand with this because it is extremely pigmented. Now I'm actually gonna use my uh, Real Techniques stippling brush. <laughs> and I know I didn't show the blush, but this is actually one of the coral blushes uh, from Maybelline, the bouncy blushes that I use. It's the peach one. And then I'll be going in with my highlighter, which is the uh, ambient lighting powder, powder from um, Hourglass, and this is the Luminous Light. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take down my hair. I usually try to do something to my hair the day before. And I put it into the three buns behind my head. This is just something I knew I was trying that I saw in a video. So I'm just gonna shake it out and just run my fingers through it. And try to get that stuff from sticking out like that. This is to just give you a close-up of the makeup here. I had actually started out doing a more orange lip, but I decided to wipe it off and do a different lip look all together. So I'll be filming that in just a moment. So I went back in with the Obsessive Compulsive uh, Black Metal Dahlia, and I'm just applying that with a lip brush that it comes with. And because this is so dark, this can actually take quite a bit of time to get it looking good. So here it is with the Black Metal Dahlia lip look. And I'll show a picture of it as well too. And thanks so much for watching, everyone. Happy shimmies, and I hope you have a great day. And now here's five seconds of our dog, Mushroom, trying to dry himself after, after a bath. Have a great evening again, and I'll see you all again soon. <laughs>